Hello friends, it's time to improve your openings. Today I'm going to show you French defense with white. So if you are tired against uh, French defense, you don't know what to play against that, then uh, you can use the line I'm going to show you. First of all, I'm going to give you overview of uh, options for white and maybe you are going to choose one of those options. And then uh, I'm going to explain a few things about uh, 392 and showing you some lines. What is important to understand, this is uh, basic lines. So they will be fine for players below 2000 online. So on Leeches or Chess.com, Blitz Rapid Rating below 2000. While it's also will be fine for, it will also be fine for players like 21, 2200 online, and maybe even interest in some, something interesting for um, like 2000 feeder. But this is already up to you. Let's go to chessboard. E4, E6, French defense. What options does white have? First of all, on move two, D4 is kind of uh, necessary. However, there is uh, one line which is uh, quite interesting. I mean knight f3. Black usually replies with d5. Then we go for e5, c5 and b4. A gambit line. And uh, when I was young, I was playing uh, French defense with black. And this line was uh, very annoying for me. I was uh, scared of the of this line. So for those of you who would like to play a gambit line, um, something like with initiative, this one something to look at. And uh, this is an interesting line. Um, maybe um, a solid response by black is b6. Uh, while after c takes b4, a3, then um, black takes on a3, or we take on b4 ourselves. And uh, anyway, we get some kind of similar position. For example, takes, takes, now c3 with tamper. Uh, let's say bishop goes to e7, then maybe d4, first of all, to start with. And um, white is a pawn down, but uh, white has a strong center and uh, good squares for his pieces and next it will be bishop d3 castles uh, at some point uh, bishop a3 is uh, an interesting uh, a good idea to exchange uh, a good bishop and live in black with bad bishop on c8 sometimes it's also possible to jump to b5 and d6 for example, after bishop a3, bishop takes, takes, knight a3, and even if black plays a6, controlling the b5 square, knight a3, knight b5 is still possible because of the pin on the a file. So for those of you who are, who are looking for something interesting against French defense, for blitz, for like especially for blitz, for rapid maybe, this line is something to look at. So knight f3, d5, of course black can switch, for example, to c5, but this is already a specific line of Sicilian. And also there is a question, if black wanted to play Sicilian defense, then why um, they didn't play uh, c5 on move 1? So e4, e6, d4, d5. And... Uh, yeah, this is a starting position. I mean, here there are some options for white and the critical choice for white uh, choosing the direction of play. Uh, first of all, yeah, before moving uh, forward, I would like to mention one important thing that I already said uh, that the bishop on c8 is a bad one. So the problem of uh, French defense for black is um, this bishop on c8. Uh, if there was no bishop, let's just imagine there are no light squared bishop, then black's position is already okay. Um, so what options do we have here? e5, advanced variation, ed5, exchange variation, knight c3, knight d2, and there is also bishop d3 move. 
In fact, there are no other options for white to to choose, like to to solve this situation with the pawn on e4, since the pawn is hanging, and uh, it's either about moving it forward, taking on d5, defend it in somehow. Uh, moves like f3, of course, it's a uh, an ugly move. In, by the way, this is something possible against Karakan defense. However, even in Karakan defense, I don't recommend this f3 move. They call it fantasy variation, but if you are lower than 2000 chess com lead chess, don't play that. Don't play that. Don't weaken your king. Don't create problems for yourself. Yeah, by the way, here f3 is just losing because of uh, queen h4 check. I mean, first of all, d4, fe4, and then queen h4 check. Uh, but okay, let's get back to normal options. And after d5, first of all, the main lines, uh, the most challenging lines nowadays is knight c3. This is what uh, top players play. Um, a complicated line. Uh, Black has a choice between uh, bishop b4, Vinavar variation, and knight f6 move. Knight f6, I don't know how they call this line. Um, so after knight f6, it is usually e5, knight d7, then f4, c5, knight f3, and so on. While after after bishop b4. Uh, there is, uh, by the way, there are some um, sidelines here, like uh, maybe bishop d3 or even knight e2, a pawn sacrifice, uh, but the, uh, sometimes even e d5 here, but the main move is e5, c5, a3, and once again, the main line leads to bishop c3, b c3, and uh, since this video is mainly for players whose rating is uh, below 2000, um, like Blitz Rapid uh, on Leeches, chess.com, not, not feed, by the way. Um, of course, uh, those who, let's say maybe 2200, 2300, uh, you will find something interesting here, something useful. But I'm not going to go in uh, like in details. I'm not going to provide an incredible analysis. Um, but what I'm going to do, explain uh, some things and showing you one uh, line that uh, that you can play. So why don't I recommend this line uh, for players uh, below 2000, uh, maybe even feed, I would say, because the position is incredibly complicated. So first of all, usually uh, if you have a choice between an open position and a closed position, then go for an open position. And so as you can see here, and this is point number one, the position is closed. Point number two, I don't recommend double your pounds. As you can see here, c3, c2 pounds are double pounds. This is point number two. And point number three is that uh, black gave up the bishop pair. So white has, white has the bishop pair. And uh, this is uh, point number three. Yes, uh, black squares are weakened. So you see, this is clash uh, like... Uh, White has double pawns, black, um, like, as compensation, white has the bishop pair. However, the position is close. So altogether, it's incredibly complicated. That's why I don't recommend this line. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't play it. You can do whatever you want. I just give uh, my recommendations. Uh, it's your choice. Uh, follow them or not. So that's why knight c3 is not something um, I would like to like suggest you to play. Ed5, Ed5, exchange variation. This is an option. For example, I often play this position with white, but uh, with transposition, and I go for c4. Then I play knight c3 and getting uh, an isolated d4 pawn. This is something um, like you can, for example, check my games uh, starting like searching this position. 
and you can even try it yourself. The point is that after knight f6, knight c3, let's say at some point um, bishop e7, bishop d3, takes, takes, castles, and an interesting idea, knight e2, not knight f3. And uh, black's problem is the bishop on c8, and it's not so easy to solve this problem. And I won, um, I have won uh, like several games with white. Uh, one of the ideas, for example, c6, castles, bishop f5, now we go knight g3, bishop g6, seems like uh, black's position is quite okay, everything is fine, but after f4, uh, there are some difficulties. And uh, usually people play h6, while the best move something like bishop d6, after this f5, and let's say bishop f4, so there is a problem with this bishop on h7. Um, this is a possible line, however, uh, not a simple one. So c4, like, there are some other options by black. Usually black uh, doesn't know what to play here. Like, so players below 2000, they just don't know what to play here. So it's something that's possible to play. e5, advanced variation. Once again, uh, if you are below the lower rated you are, the more important for you to go for an open position, to open position, so uh, it uh, would be clear for you what to do. That's why I don't recommend you to play e5. Uh, however, once again, this is something possible. This is, uh, I would say, better than playing knight c3 bishop before and going for that position, since here at least there is only one problem for you, which is uh, a closed position. There are no double pawns, there are no um, uh, balance, like material balance uh, problems, yeah? So, for example, c5, c3, knight c6, knight f3. Uh, by the way, uh, by the way, there is an interesting gambit line here nowadays. Uh, which is if queen b6, then bishop d3, cd4, and uh, good old days, people uh, sacrifice pawn like this, cd4, knight d4, then it was maybe, I don't know for sure, knight d2 probably, or, or knight d4 first, knight d4, queen d4, maybe queen e2, then castles, then knight c3, and so on, but black is fine there. Uh, but nowadays there is a gambit, I don't know what they call that gambit, cd4 and castles here. And um, I think somebody like maybe Maxim Vashelagraf uh, even played uh, uh, this gambit line in a classical game and I think he won against, I don't remember against whom, but he won. So this is also like a gambit line, uh, the one like move to knight f3 and this gambit line for those of you who would like to play something exciting something interesting uh those two ideas these two ideas so now getting back to this position um yes let's start with bishop d3 there is such a move uh, not a bad uh, not a bad move uh, black should know what to do here I mean, usually they don't know and then they just play in this way, d4, bishop e4, knight f6, bishop f3, and something like c5, knight e2. Uh, black doesn't really have any problems here, but this is uh, something possible to play with white. You can, you can try this. Uh, this is something okay to play, let's say. So... And the last one, knight d2, this is what I'm going to, not like I'm going to recommend this line, but kind of, yeah, kind of. Uh, but before, yeah, before going deeper with knight d2, once again, uh, just uh, what do we have? Knight c3, I don't recommend, bishop b4, and after bishop b4, you can still play e d5, then, then okay. But if you go for e5, this Winaver variation, something incredibly complicated. If you like complicated position, you're welcome. Um, 
E5 advanced variation, uh, not really something I would recommend uh, to players below 2000 lead chess, chess com. But uh, you can try, especially if you will go for that uh, gambit line uh, with castling. After c takes d4, black plays c d4, then you just castle. You can try, you can try. So then after d5, we still have bishop d3, an option. e d5, e d5. I wouldn't recommend you to play just uh, in a symmetrical way with knight f3, bishop d3. However, by the way, there is such a line and even some strong players, they tried it. Um, not sure which move order, but let's say knight f3, knight f6, bishop d3, bishop d6. And here queen e2, uh, tricky check. Tricky check. And the uh, best response by black is bishop e6. Then knight g5, queen e7, knight takes e6, queen takes e6, takes, takes. And the position is equal. However, if you are... Uh, experienced player, I mean, not necessarily experienced, but uh, more experienced than your opponent, then you have uh, the bishop pair, and this is something you can use in the long run. Um, yes, but uh, there is also c4, an interesting try, knight f6, this is what I already mentioned, and then dc4, at some point, bishop c4, knight e2, castles, and uh, like just okay showing you one more option what black can do there let's say this this knight e2 then either knight c6 or c6 let's say knight c6 maybe a3 in advance or so being able to remove the bishop let's say what what black is going to play here let's say bishop g4 then we castle maybe maybe queen d7, then we can play f3, bishop moves to f5, bishop e3, and then the idea is knight g3, knight e4, queen d2, rook a d1, rook f e1. So d4, d5, and now let's go deeper for a line which I'm going to suggest you to play. It's nothing special, once again, if you want, uh, like those players who, if you are, let's say, uh, a young player, 20, 2100 or higher, then uh, feed them, feed them. Then you definitely better to, uh, to skip this video and uh, just like to learn something uh, more solid, something more challenging, and uh, analyze that with the engine and so on. I would call my uh, video uh, a lazy, uh, a lazy, uh, a lazy player or la lazy opening preparation. Yeah, let's call it this way: lazy opening preparation. I'm just going to show you a few lines. And um, overall, I think that uh, nowadays uh, opening preparation is uh, overrated. And uh, you will be surprised if you are, let's say, 1300, 1500 on leechesschess.com, if you are like 1900, 2000, even like 2100, 2200, you will be surprised that uh, this line will be enough for you to play i mean enough for you to let's say to get a, a decent position and to like to have a, an interesting play now let's go deeper with knight d2 i already mentioned other options yeah just one more option which i would like to pay attention once again knight f3 and that and then uh, this gambit line also interesting you can easily check it yourself uh, using the engine on uh, leeches or chess.com or like uh, using their opening uh, encyclopedia yeah? uh, or opening database so first part was like uh, overview of like options for white and second part is uh, now let's go for for knight d2 line. Uh, this is actually also, let's say, uh, a line from my 
childhood since I was playing um, French defense with black and uh, there was one player, uh, annoying player, I mean he played this line and since uh, when I was young there were no uh, good engines and uh, any recommendations, I didn't know what uh, what to play against this line. So, after knight d2, what options? Uh, two main options by black usually are c5 and knight f6. One more option is d4. Let's start with d4 since this is something uh, slightly different from uh, what we are going to look at after c5 and knight f6. I mean, it's already uh, something simple. Something simple. However, d4, knight e4 is playable. For example, this is what I play myself. Bishop d7, bishop c6 here, a sideline. Um, but usually black plays knight d7. Let's say knight f3, knight f6, bishop d3. Uh, then they still play something, uh, maybe for example bishop e7 or c5. And here what I'm just gonna tell you is uh, everything is very simple. Since you are not professional chess player, actually this is something good to note to to mention. If you are not a professional chess player, then don't overestimate. Um, uh, don't overprice uh, opening preparation. Uh, getting any normal position with like maybe slight advantage uh, is good enough. Like, even uh, I playing like being 2600, uh, getting a playable position is enough for me to outplay guys with 25, 2600. So um, bishop d3 and then what you need to know is uh, plan for white. I mean, not really planned, but uh, our setup. This is why I told you that this is a lazy opening preparation. Let's say black plays bishop e7. And white has, uh, overall, white has two options here. One option is uh, to castle short. So then if you castle short, let's say black castle short, and then you, your setup is uh, as follows queen e2 and you don't really care what black is going to play your setup is very simple you play c3 to support the d4 pawn you don't need to play c4 weakening the d4 pawn uh, then you develop this bishop somewhere for example bishop f4 maybe bishop g5 one of these two squares and moving your rooks to the center that's it so let's say uh, black can play c5, then you can just, for example, take here, and let's say knight c5, bishop c5, and then you still can follow your basic setup. For example, bishop g5, then rook a d1, maybe c3. Um, here, maybe rook f1 is not so necessary, but an option, and knight jumps to e5. That's it. Sounds uh, simple, like uh, you now um, may think like, and this is, that's it? That's all what you are going to show? What? Not serious. Uh, just try to play this line. I mean, of course, uh, uh, this is just about d takes e4. <laughs> there is also c5 and knight f6, but uh, if we talk about uh, d4 here, knight e4, then knight e7 or bishop e7, it doesn't really matter. Your setup is uh, is the same. Uh, the pawn structure is already more or less stable, this pawn versus the pawn on e6. At some point, black is going to play c5, they need to play c5. Um, and probably you're just going to take on c5. While your pieces knight f3, bishop d3, castles, queen e2, c3, rook e1, bishop f4, bishop g5, rook a d1. By doing that, your basic pro program is done. You are good. You, you did a good job in the, in the game already if you, if you developed all your pieces. Now let's get back 
and let's start with like c5 knight f6 doesn't really matter of course there are some other options by black like for example i don't know sometimes a6 sometimes h6 you don't care you just continue knight f3 bishop d3 castles and overall this is will be our standard setup you don't need to invent anything in this uh, line in this opening so knight d2 c5 and uh, just uh, making it uh, let's say short making it short make it it uh, compact I'm just going to show you one uh, setup for like doesn't matter if black plays c5 if black plays knight f6 we are not going uh, I'm not going to suggest you to play something more let's say maybe more critical if you are a player higher than uh, 2000 uh, 2000 liches chesscom then you might think about uh, playing let's say ed5 here which is uh, uh, which is the main move or for example knight f3 and uh, let's say ed5 knight f3 probably those moves are more uh, more critical uh, they are better and similar story after knight f6 after knight f6 the main move is e5 the main move is e5 knight d7 uh, then white plays uh, let me remember what white plays here <laughs> c3 c5 and maybe uh, yeah bishop d3 then this knight goes to e2 this knight goes to f3 and uh, this moves uh, let's say after after c5 ed5 on knight f3 after knight f6 e5 they are more critical they are more challenging and if you want to let's say in this video i give you like first of all i give you some overview what you can play if you are interested to to build up your own repertoire if you are interested to add more lines if still if uh, any of you will like make uh, a comment uh, write a comment that uh, you are interested deeper in one of those lines and it will be supported then i can explain it deeper but in this video the point is to give you a basic setup a basic setup something that you can play with white versus french defense and uh, not overloading you with some lines like learning a lot studying a lot of theory just giving you basic setup explaining a few like important points and you will you will try play that and you will see that oh, actually that's enough it's good enough to play against players uh 2000 online yeah let's call the, those players 2000 online because like liches chesscom it's too long to to pronounce okay so starting from now your next moves are quite simple if black plays c5 attacking the d4 pawn you respond with c3 you always respond with c3 if black plays knight c6 attacking your d4 pawn you always respond with knight f3 if black plays knight f6 attacking your e4 pawn you always respond with bishop d3 e5 is something actually with knight with, with this knight being on f3 i don't think e5 is a good idea because you see the problem that knight on d2 is kind of stuck and there is no good square for this knight to move to this is something like maybe playable but not something i would recommend you so you see our play is quite simple c5 you react with c3 knight f6 similarly you react with bishop d3 and here like first of all like maybe already here i can mention this uh thing that uh, some of your players if you're let's say if you're rating 
1300, 1500 online, then probably you will often see this bishop b5 and taking the queen on d4. So winning the queen for free. This is, by the way, our basic uh, trap in this line. Uh, so after bishop d3, c5. What do you play? Of course, you can play dc5. And uh, this is something you can check your on, on your own. dc5, bishop c5, knight. Can you play knight f3 actually? d4, knight e4, knight e4, bishop e4, queen d1, and then bishop f2. So probably something like queen e2 first. Queen e2 and then knight f3, castles. This is, this is fine. No problems about that. As I already mentioned, basic program that you can play like any any weather outside you still like can go in this uh, jacket so c c5 you play c3 knight c6 you play knight f3 so now let's check something uh, specific here for example cd4 cd4 d4 knight e4 and knight takes d4 what uh, you don't need to play here is queen a4 check because after queen a4 check knight c6 the winning way is knight d4 queen d4 bishop b5 this is by the way uh, something really you should <laughs> uh, remember something you should know uh, this is always uh, d4 pawn is almost always untouchable for example if knight e4 then you just take bishop e4 Bishop e7, you continue with, uh, you just castle. Let's say bishop f6 attacking the pawn. Then maybe here you already can uh, go d5 straight away. But you can still defend the pawn first. Then castling, then maybe uh, first of all um, developing this rook. Then maybe at some point queen d3 or queen c2. And uh, one of your main ideas is d5, to push this pawn, since uh, the only problem of this line, which, why this line is uh, a bit uh, complicated, that you have uh, d4 pawn, isolated d4 pawn. So that's why after... This is just something uh, to know for you, or knight e4, let's say knight e4, bishop e4. Uh, a common move, uh, bishop b4, then you just play bishop d2, bishop takes, queen takes, castles, let's say we castle, and then, so this d4 pawn, usually what you, like, what, uh, like two important things you need to know, you don't want to exchange your pieces unless you get something or you are forced to do that. Because in the end game, d4 pawn is a problem for you. And uh, second thing to know that uh, there are two main ideas. One idea is to push the pawn, so getting rid of the pawn, but getting some activity in response. And second idea, uh, usually it will work if we have position like this. Let's say black plays bishop e7, we castle, castles. And still, uh, you see, we have more pieces on the board. Then we can try to attack uh, Black's king. So, like, first of all, let's start with something more forced, yeah, like d4, knight e4, knight e4, bishop e4, bishop e7, I already mentioned, bishop b4, take, take, castles, we castle. And then, for example, black plays bishop d7. We are not in rush yet. Maybe, for example, um, actually d5 is possible. d5 is fine. Yeah. d5 is fine to go here. But we, you can play rook e1 first. Once again, making our basic program. Rook d1, let's say rook c8. And then we finally strike with d5. e d5, bishop d5. Your pieces are well placed, and next move you can, for example, play like queen f4 at some point. There is uh, some ideas maybe on the d file. So you get a pleasant position. 
what is important for you to know is uh, don't don't overprice opening like getting position like this is actually something very good but what is important to mention that most of your opponents they will make something stupid before reaching this position and uh, maybe a few words about let's say cd4 d4 knight e4 once again knight d4 we just taken bishop b5 bishop e7 we can still castle if knight d4 then knight d4 queen d4 bishop b5 and taking the queen on d4 and here be careful once black castled with his bishop being on e7 then now knight takes d4 is a threat because if we make anything like this knight d4 then knight takes d4 queen takes d4 knight takes f6 and either bishop f6 or queen f6 bishop f6 defending the queen on d4 so something not to forget about and what can you do here is bishop e3 or even moving this knight away for example knight c3 and playing this position with isolated d4 pawn what is your plan here like knight d4 once again is untouchable because after knight d4 we take and bishop h7 and i'm sure you're gonna win some games in this <laughs> in this way so let's say uh, bishop e3 is fine knight c3 is interesting uh, since anyway the d5 square is important so knight on c3 is well placed controlling the d5 square and next your plan can be something like bishop f4 bishop g5 rook goes to e1 then maybe at some point the queen d2 queen the queen goes to e d2 or e2 rook a d1 and uh, later knight e5 jump so maybe attack on the king side or pushing this pawn in the center still sometimes it's 95 yes um yeah by the way here after bishop before bishop d2 bishop d2 queen d bishop d2 queen d2 castles here the default pawn is still untouchable because there is no bishop on e7 but we should go in the right order first we take on f6 queen f6 and now we take on d4 and white is a piece up so queen d4 bishop takes h7 rook d8 just moving the knight anywhere knight f3 knight e2 any square um yeah what else bishop e7 then we can just castle if uh, black castles then here we already might think about playing e5 this is fine we can also take on d5 for example also fine so the game just goes on so i think like shortly that's enough that's enough for you to to feel confident against uh, french defense if you have any question then uh, you're free to ask me but uh, yeah don't forget that uh, my plan was to give you basic basic lines basic uh, opening yeah basic uh, basic line against uh, french defense and uh, if your rating is below than 2000 online then for sure that's enough to play just believe me even like honestly saying even for 2100 2200 online that's still okay to play this line or use any of my recommendations uh, that i mentioned in this video thank you for watching um, i would be happy to see your questions your reaction um, like what would you like to like many other openings you would like to learn and uh, see you later